it is critical to effectively combine capture efficiency with dynamic live cell image observation to understand the effect of cell-cell interaction on cell behaviors. This chip can highly efficiently capture multiple single cells in a large chamber and provide a sufficient culture space for dynamic tracking of multiple single cell interaction behaviors. Start by preparing the PDMS device. Place a wafer mold and a weighing dish with 100 microliters of trichlorosilane in a desiccator and apply a vacuum for 15 minutes. Stop the vacuum and silanize the wafer mold and the desiccator at 37 degrees Celsius for at least one hour. Mix the PDMS base and PDMS curing agent at a ratio of 10 to 1. Then pour a total of 20 grams of the mixture onto the wafer mold in a 15 centimeter dish. Place the 15 cm dish into a desiccator and apply a vacuum for one and a half minutes. Then remove the dish from the desiccator and eliminate residual air bubbles in the PDMS with nitrogen gas. Cure the PDMS by placing the dish in an oven at 65 degrees Celsius for two to four hours. When finished, remove the PDMS replica from the wafer mold and punch a 1.5 mm inlet and 0.5 mm outlet on the PDMS. Clean the PDMS replica and the slide surface with removable tape. Treat the surface with oxygen plasma. Then, manually align the PDMS replica with the slide and bring them into contact with each other. Leave the PDMS slide in a 65 degrees Celsius oven for one day. The next day, immerse the